hello uh good morning uh, welcome to uh, the second part that is hp.net could be showing jquery model pop up uh, in previous video tutorials uh, i have seen uh, some about the grid view and the binding of the grid view uh, also check the uh, jquery's so uh, in this video tutorials i will show you how to bind the grid view with the SQL connection class, command class, and the data reader, or you can say data set, adapters, etc. So, um, when we click on uh, any control, the grid view show that is the uh, topic uh, of my video tutorials. It's a simple, this is uh, already bind in very uh, much video tutorials so uh, assign the command to the connections there are uh, many tables in the connection strings but uh, uh, I want to connect with the user table only so the name of the table is user table but uh, check to confirm that is the name of the table is correct or not Okay. Yeah, the timeout problem. Again, it check the connection string, or you can say that check the table name in the connection string. Oops, it's taking too much time. Yeah, uh, expand the tables. The connection string is connection string here. Yeah, user table. User under card table uh, create instance of the SQL data reader that is RD and CMD dot execute reader okay now um, connect the uh, grid view with the data source RD okay G1 dot uh, data bind that's fine now run the code right click on and the view in browser taking times to load uh, on browser uh, actually uh, the grid view is uh, not properly shown on browser when we click on the button yeah that is uh, you can check that your uh, drop down is visible the only one thing uh, is that <coughs> it uh, is only used the uh, HTML control only okay The grid view is shown properly, but uh, hide after. So, 
here we have a uh, ASP.NET uh, button control if you can use uh, your HTML control you can do this task easily check my code uh, on my uh, blog that is dot uh, programming dot blogspot com on this you can do this task easily okay but here we use these types of methods and these types of logics like on button click etc you did you did not get your result okay simply change this uh, asp.net button control with the html control and get the exact result that is you want to show okay so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my uh, actual link that is given below in this uh, video tutorials thank you thank you very much